this is Jessica Warner. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Jessica Warner Artist or also on Facebook. Um, I wanted to share some of my art journals that I've been working on lately. <clears throat> Usually I just go back and forth between a few, but these I've really loved. So um, This is my fall and Halloween art journal. And it's an old, old recipe binder that came with pages with tabs and these cute little pockets in the back. So for the cover I just did book paper and old um, clothing patterns and then I distressed it with some Tim Holtz ink and some black acrylic paint. And the front cover has some fabric samples and some black burlap from Canvas Corp. Some of the Halloween papers and the burlap you see in this journal is from a giveaway that I won. Um, here's another, some uh, fabric sample. And this is from one of the collage canvas pieces from Canvas Corp. And it's really, really cute. Um, I just... I started by taking the tab pages and covering them with scrapbook paper on the front and the back. And then I made a label for each tab. So I've got Autumn and the Equinox Maven and Moon and some Magic and Sewing, Halloween, Day of the Dead and some spooky, spooky stuff. Just kind of give myself an organization for prompts, I guess. Um, so... Scrapbook paper, more scrapbook paper, just some embellishments that I have laying around, some leaves, and some of these pages I have uh, are from a seasonal decorating book that I took apart and used. And more scrapbook paper, I'm distressed. Magazine pages, more scrapbook paper. Just kind of using all the colors of fall and stuff that I really liked. Fireplaces. Another cover from a book. I think this was from a Martha Stewart magazine. Um, her magazines have a lot of really great photos in them. And then it was also our anniversary last week, so I journaled about that. I got some pockets I started making. Some more scrapbook papers. Um, I believe that was from a cardstock. Another, the next tab. And this one is a book page that I folded size so it folds out and I covered that with scrapbook paper. I don't know if you can see how much it folds out, but then I've just got some journaling spots in there. I think that one I was journaling about the equinox. Some prayers and stuff. And here's another page from that seasonal book that has a fold out. And, uh, this was a separate page and then I just cut out the autumn from the other part of the book and added that in. Some gessoed pages for some painting or doodling later on. Another page from that seasonal book. It was really pretty. I've been thinking about doing a uh, Demeter or Persephone on that side. There's the moon tab, some scrapbook paper. This I I did with pastels for the Lunar Eclipse the other night and then it's backed with some burlap paper scrapbooking. This was from a Happy Mail I got, a moon picture and poem. This was a, I think this is a fair trade magazine page. And more from that seasonal book and some cardstock and some art I got from a Happy Mail. This is from a children's book. And this Halloween tab. This was another page from that Martha Stewart magazine I had. More fabric from that Fairtrade magazine. 
some scrapbook paper. And I believe this was from an old Wee Moon planner. Did some collaging with those cute little pumpkins. And I, with those tabs I used the embossed label maker. And then got some mummy pages from a National Geographic. I believe all these mummies were um, family of Tutankhamun. And that's another. I think this is a ancestor ritual that was in that National Geographic magazine. And this was from, I believe this was from like a history book or something. More scrapbook paper, more mummies, um, a bat wing from that National Geographic, and then those clear tabs. I'm gonna probably put this is a postcard from an artist in Italy. I'll probably put most of my Halloween happy mail I get in the next few weeks in there. So there's that one. Thanks for watching.